Mark, I know, say, our investors at True Potential, um, they effectively outsource to you into the investment management team on a, on a discretionary basis. Um, obviously, we, we think that's a, a great idea. Um, but could you just remind our, our listeners why outsourcing something like their investments is, is a good idea? Yeah, it's scalability, Dan, and it's diversification. It's hitting on the points that Steve said earlier. Because whilst we've got a very good and experienced investment team in Newcastle, we don't have people sitting in all of the key locations around the world. You know, we don't have people day to day working in China or in the States or in the, you know, other parts of Europe. Um, so what we do is we, the, we, we control the investments within the portfolios, but they're made up of all true potential funds. And those funds are managed by different um, investment experts across the world. Goldman Sachs, Allianz, SEI, Close Brothers, UBS, for just a name for there, you know, and they do have people sitting around the world knowing what's happening on the ground in world markets. And that's absolutely essential to make decisions which will affect the returns in the portfolios. So for a client who invests with us, they give us discretionary powers to, to buy and sell within the portfolios. But we also do that further afield, and it gets to the point of diversification where you have these major institutions who are making day-to-day -day decisions over client money that feeds through into the portfolios and gives a diversified return. So we know we've got people in China who are indirectly working for our clients, people in the States and, and all of the other major financial centers, and they're not just equity market experts as well, the bond markets have played a great part in, in protecting client investment over the last, well, particularly this year, as we've seen in, in the, the COVID world. But also you have to have currency decisions which are being made. And that's a very, very precise and very expertise area. Um, and again, the big institutions that we, we bring into play in the portfolios have got the experts in the field who can make those decisions. Yeah, I, I, I think experts are the right word as well, Mark, or, or, or certainly it leans towards another one of True Potential's beliefs, which is specialism as, as, as well. And this is something we'd always urge our, our investors to look at, which is, or, or to consider, you know, every single day, I know that if anybody, say, watches Jeff Casson's work from home video, you, you see that the hour which Jeff's up and the reading he's doing, and Jeff spends his life, I don't know, you do, Mark, and the rest of the IM team, only dealing with one thing, which is true potential portfolios. Um, that's your specialism, which means hopefully you get very good at it. Um, but in turn, as you say, you're then dealing with experts around the world whose only job might be working on the currency desk in China, as you say in there, or you know, um, when on the commodities desk across in, 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 in the United States. And that's that 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 that's something which I think is is behind any sort of successful investment is is learning when to kind of almost learning when to be in control, but also learning when to let go and let the specialists come in. Um, you know, I've got I've got friends who often will speak to me about what we what I do for a living. Um, you know, and you mentioned a bit about investing, and then oh, I do a bit of I do a bit of trading myself. I've you know I do a bit of FX trading or you know a, a little bit of this and. You know, what do you think about that? And I just I just say, I think you must be mad. I think it's a great way to lose a load of money quick. Um, unless you're waking up and just currency trading all day and concentrating on it. But people treat it as a hobby. And every, everybody's got a story of, well, I made 20% yesterday. Um, you know, so, you know, but everyone else has got a, the story which isn't told, which is I lost 30% the day before that. Um, yeah. It's very similar when you talk to somebody who's who who knows the form of the horses, Dan. You know, yeah. they, they tell you about the days when they're up, but not the days when they're down. And